All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it again, bringing you a brand new video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about public sentiment. What is public sentiment? Should you be using it? Should you not be using it? Will it increase my trading results? We are going to dive into that because I looked at all my trades and I was comparing, hey, if I know where the public money is, I should be taking the opposite side of their trade because we all know 90% of the traders out there lose money. So why not just take the opposite side of their trade? Back the house on the casino, as they say, right? So we are going to analyze this data, how to actually look at the information that they are giving us and say, hey, when 80% of the public's money is going long, the market seems to be going down. Let's just say, for example, New Zealand USD. New Zealand USD could be skyrocketing up for the last week. Yet if we pull up the sentiment, which we are going to do, we will see that the sellers are trying to sell this thing. Like the public money is 80 to 90% short, yet it continues to go up. Right. If you had a bias to say, hey, I want to sell this thing. Well, then you look at the public money and you say, wow, you know, it's been shooting up and the public money is 80 percent short. Then it's probably not a bright idea at getting into that trade. So what I did was I analyzed 20 of my own trades and I pulled up the public sentiment report and I was analyzing. Should I be using it? Should I not be using it? Will it increase my win rate? All right. So let's get into it. So. I made a post here in the private group here in our discord chat and I'm going to read it for you guys. I said, so I said this past weekend, I have been reviewing my last 18 trades, comparing it to the public sentiment reports for each currency pair and gold. For those who do not know what public sentiment is, this is basically a live updated report from the broker showing you what percent of the traders are long and what percent of the traders are short. We all know the saying 90% of the traders lose money. So when the market is going down, then the retail traders are buying. I was comparing my trading win loss percentage to the sentiment to see if I could increase my edge by considering the sentiment report. I will talk about an example on this. I was using 75% long and 75% short to be considered public money. And I should not be buying or selling on the public side if that is where the public is trading. For example, I have 80% of the traders long, so I should not be buying. Instead, I should be looking for selling opportunity. Vice versa for selling, if the public money is 75% short, I should be looking for buying opportunities and not selling opportunities with the public, right? Anything in between like 50-50 or 60-640 or whatever long or short is considered neutral and it is okay to trade with the public. What I noticed when reviewing my 18 trades was when I was trading with the public money, I went 0-4. And I, so that means if 80% of the traders are long, of the public money is long, and I continue to buy, and I'm on the public money side, I am losing trades, okay? That was only four trades. I only analyzed 18 trades. I understand it's not enough, but it's something that we are continuing to backtest in the group. And actually, people are in the group are getting the same results that I am. So... I might be adjusting my trading and we are actually going to talk about live trades and show so I can show you guys how you can do this in your own trading and break it down for you guys. With the public money, I went 0-4 and when I traded against the public money, I went 2-2. Two two. So this is when I took the opposite side of their trade. When it was in neutral territory, I went 7-3. So what I did is if you combine the neutral and against public money, I went nine and five, which equals a 65% win rate with 1.5 risk to reward. Some interesting stuff here, and I will continue to monitor it if I should only consider trading neutral slash against and ignore any trading with the public money. And I go on to say, hey, we are a team. We're always looking to get better. Start testing different things. Let us know what your results are, because if people test some indicator or some other trading setup, and they're like, hey, I'm having really good success. Well, then we should be sharing that information with each other, right? We're always trying to get better. And that's the whole point of the uh, private Discord group. So here's a trade example, pound Canadian trade where I should not be buying because 83% of the public money are long. FYI, I use MyFX book. I'm going to talk about that MyFX book, daily FX, whatever one you want to use. So in this case, hopefully you guys can see it here on the, let me blow this up for you guys. So here is the sentiment report. I took a picture up on top and then I cut it and then I put my trade review down below. So what I noticed was 
price was coming down into my trading setup that I like to buy. It was coming into my higher time frame demand zone. I saw a really good setup. I saw a buying setup basically. Okay. Now, if I go over to the sentiment report over here, we can see that 83% of the public money is long, right? During this time that the market has been going down here on the daily time frame, what do you see when the public money is buying? What do you see? It's crashing, right? It's just going straight down right? 90% of the public money is losing. Okay. So you should be considering potentially, or maybe I should be considering taking the opposite side of their trade. Or if it's in neutral territory, uh, I can buy and sell as long as it's not like 75%, 85% or 90%. You get what I mean? So in this case, since this big spike up, that's when it began to crash, right? Pound Canadian. That's when all you see is red candles going down on the daily time frame. That was the public trying to buy. We can see that 83% of the public money is long. Okay. Now I have a trade setup that says I should be long. I'm basically buying with the public money while this thing is crashing. Now, most of the time, what I notice is when you have a big difference between uh, percentage long, percentage short, is say in this case, 83% are long. The market is going to be in a downtrend. The market is going to be crashing and vice versa. If a lot of traders are trying to sell this as in public money, they're trying to sell it. Usually it's going straight up. We will dive into this. So this is what I was analyzing in my trading. So let's go into a couple examples. So let's go over to my FX book. If you just go to my FX book on Google and uh, search sentiment or Google my FX book sentiment, it will come up with it. A lot of people in previous videos have talked about daily FX, but I don't like daily FX anymore because about a year or two years ago, they updated their sentiment report. And now it's just horrible in my opinion. It's a lot more clicks. Um, you can't really maneuver the graph at all. So I personally recommend my FX book. So here we are. Let's go, let's look at a, a random pair. We can see here, this is basically telling you, hey, a lot of people are short. This Euro Yen, it's, like 80%, 90% or short and 10% are long. So let me ask you something. If you, if we go up on a chart on Euro yen and we know right now that 90% of the retail traders are short, what do you think this market is doing? Is it going up or is it going down? It's most likely going up, right? It's going to do the opposite of what the public money is doing. Okay. So we could click on Euro yen we can see that 80%, 88% of the action is short of the public money, okay? And we can see right here by going to the chart, what has this been doing? It's been going straight up, okay? So let's go to Euro Yen because we will get a better picture of this. Euro Yen, what has it been doing? It's been going straight up, right? Ever since they took control, it's been going straight up, okay? So, hey, if we know that 88%, 90% of the traders are selling, well, then we probably shouldn't be looking for selling opportunities. We should be looking for buying opportunities on the way up, okay? So let's pull up another example. So let's talk about another trader view where I took the opposite side of the public money, okay? Because I knew, hey, a lot of percentage of the public money is long pound New Zealand. Let's actually bring up pound New Zealand so you guys can get a reference of what it was doing. Let me find it really quickly. Pound New Zealand. Okay. We can clearly see that 85% of the public money on pound New Zealand is long. Okay. 85%. So if we go over here to the chart or the trade review, that's basically telling me, hey, 85% of the public money is long. I want to be taking the opposite side of their trade. Okay. So that's what I did here in this case. I saw, it, it doesn't really matter why I got short, but I noticed a lot of the public money is long, so I want to take the opposite side of their trade. I saw a trade set up, a sell signal based on how I trade, so I took the selling opportunity, okay? Let's actually bring up one more trade review. So let's talk about another one. This is Euro Aussie. This is not a trade that I got into, even though it was a really good trade setup in my mind based off of how I trade. Now, if we look here, Euro Aussie, we can see here on the daily time frame that it has been crashing for the last month. We can see it's just been going straight down. So with your knowledge, if you guys watching this video, if the market has been crashing for the last month pretty hard, 
what do you think the public money is doing? Do you think they're selling or do you think they're buying? We all know big money moves to market, okay? And a lot of retail traders lose money, 90%. So with this thing crashing for nonstop for the last month, what do you think the public money has been doing? They've probably been buying this whole time, right? So let's go to Euro Aussie, my FX book. Let me find it really quickly. Find Euro Aussie, oh, right here. We can see 89% are long right now, okay? As of this trade, it was like 90%. Euro Aussie, 90% of the public money is long. Why are they long? And this thing has been going, <laughs> woo, <laughs> Corona. <laughs> this thing has been crashing nonstop, all right? So we go over here to the chart and I blew it up. Yes, price is inside my higher time frame and we have a really good setup with confirmation. But when we scroll out, we can clearly see that the sellers really haven't taken control yet of this market and it's a bit aggressive to be buying. This is a counter trend trade. We understand we're probably going to be trading with the public money. This is why I tell people don't trade counter trend. Okay. If you don't trade counter trend, then you don't really have to worry about the public sentiment. But if you do trade counter trend, I know personally from my trading, I've done videos about this and I've talked about it in the group many times that there is a 10% difference of my win loss percentage if I trade counter trend versus sideways market. And then if I go from sideways to trending market, there's another 10%. So there's a 20% difference from when I'm trading trending markets versus counter trend markets. Okay. So here we are trading counter trend. This thing has been crashing for one month straight. We know 90% of the public money is long. It's probably not a good idea at buying right now. Okay. Don't call the bottom in the market. Okay. Essentially, I have to correct myself in a way we are always calling the top and bottom no matter what trading system you are doing as soon as you push buy you think prices are going to go up doesn't matter if prices have been going up non-stop as soon as you push buy theoretically you are saying this is where prices are not going to turn from right and that's the exact same for selling right if you thought it was going to go lower why not wait for it to go lower right think about it so so like I said, this is a good buy setup, but I wanted to avoid it for the reasons I mentioned before. 90% of the public money is long. So I avoided that losing trade, okay? So really interesting stuff here. Let's continue to another example. We go to over here to my FX book. Let's pull up a, you can get access to like every market, just letting you guys know. If you guys go here to my FX book, you can go down you can actually click on advanced. Where is advanced? Oh, it's at the top here. You go up to the top, you click add to your site and you'll get access to all these other markets as well that you can click on and it'll give you them. But really all the major ones that you need are right here. So if we look at, for example, let's stop on New Zealand CAD. Okay, we see a ton of traders trying to sell this thing right now. So it's most likely going up. We go over to New Zealand CAD right? What has it been doing here on the daily time frame? Ever since they've been trying to sell it, it's been shooting up. And let's pump over to a trade review for you guys. Now, these don't always line up, you know? Actually, a trade that I just took recently is actually the exact opposite. But what I notice is overall, my trading does better when I'm on the opposite side. Or if it's in a 50-50 split between the public money, then I can buy and sell. Actually, a trade that I was in, I posted it on my trading view account so if you do follow my trading view account i uploaded a video and a picture of it and plus on my instagram as well not instagram but twitter i did on my twitter so you make sure you guys follow those uh, social media accounts if you want to get my trading updates as well pound canadian let's go to this trade review i should have everything drawn up still yeah so basically what i saw was hey Price on a sideways range overall for a very long time. So this is kind of the low of the range right here. And this is kind of the high of the range up here. And what I saw was, hey, price is back down to this area where previously once, twice, three, four, five times, it's been going back up. So, hey, we've been dropping for like three weeks straight. This is a good area to be looking for buying opportunities. So I went down to my four hour and I noticed that, hey, 
I wanted to see confirmation. This is more in my tips playlist talking about the supply and demand methodology, but this can work for any type of methodology that you are using. Just consider where the public money is, okay? In this case, we broke down where momentum, we removed areas of supply, and we have evidence of buyers taking control, okay? So that's why I bought the pullback back down into this area of drop base rally demand zone, okay? Now, if we actually look at the sentiment report, I'm not just going to sit here and cherry pick zone saying, hey, do the exact opposite, do the exact opposite. But it's something, you know, we have to consider. Let me find it easily. Find pound CAD. We can see 81% of the traders are trying to buy this thing right now. Okay. Now, this is for the daily time frame. And we can see it's been relatively going sideways pretty much. Okay. I'm executing this thing on the four hour. So, Using the daily is probably not the best thing, but overall, it's it's we can clearly see it's in a sideways range, so that's kind of why I'm buying that thing, right? I see it in a sideways range for the last year. It's low. I got a setup, so that's why I want to be buying. Now, if this thing's just going straight up like we've seen on other charts, then it's probably not a wise idea at trading with the public money. And so that's what I really wanted to share with you guys is, is if you want this material, my FX book or my FX book sentiment or whatever, I will put that in the description below or in the questions. Let me guys know if you guys are using this in your own trading. It's something to consider because we all know the saying 90% of the traders lose money, right? So why don't you potentially trade against them or potentially trade with them as long as it's a 50 50 split or a 60 40 split? I was just using 75% as a generic number for me to consider hey, this is public money, this is non public money. OK, based on my results that I've been seeing so far in my trading, looking at 20 trades and then plus one of my friends here in the discord group that we have, he was coming up with the same results as me. So we're just trying to collect more trades. I'm asking other people, hey, guys, test this out. Let me guys know uh, what your guys' results are so we can actually see if we should integrate this into our trading. You know what I mean? Most of the time when you're going to be trading with public money is you're going to be trading counter trend a lot of the time, right? Because that's when the market's just like steamrolling up and people love calling the tops and saying, oh, it's going to fall here. It's going to fall here. It's going to fall here. So they keep adding to their positions, right? As we've seen, if we look at, let's just pull up a, a random one. Let's look at USD yen, 88% short long 20%. So this thing is probably overall been going up. USD yen. And we can see what has it been doing? It's been skyrocketing up, right? So definitely interesting stuff. I recommend you guys playing with it over the weekend. Let me know what your guys' results are. Update me in the description below because this is something that I'm working on right now. And this works for every type of methodology out there. All right. It's not just supply and demand. It could be for any type of trading and that's it. All right, guys, just a quick video should be 10, 15 minutes. If you guys really did like this video, comment, like, subscribe. If you guys want to know more about the trading setup that I'm trading, you can check out my tips playlist on YouTube. It's the complete guide of supply and demand trading. What is it? How to draw zones, trade reviews, all that great information. And if you want the free course, you can go to moneyballtrading.com. That will be in the description below and you can sign up there and reach out to me on social media anytime. All right, guys, have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy yourself. Say hi to some random person out there as you're walking down the street this weekend and tell them to have a fantastic day, okay? Bye-bye.